if you're watching this video in 2022, you're probably seven years too late for this camcorder. Because as far as I'm aware, this Sony HDRPJ410 has been released in 2015. But now the question is, in 2022 and several years beyond the release date, is this camera still worth having or buying? Well, we're gonna find out in this video. Okay, now before we continue with uh, more specifics about this camera, let me show you some macro filming. I'm gonna start with, um, I found three downsides of this camera, of uh, this Sony HDR PJ410 camera and cam, camcorder. I'll start with the first one, being seven years old, this is kind of outdated technology. Therefore, if you want to buy something new, I'd rather prefer to, for you to buy something close to 2022 or maybe for this price, it will be something with 4K capabilities. Uh, this, this being the second issue, it only has 1080p, it doesn't have 4K or any other resolution, 80p and below. And the third one, uh, that's gonna be really strange, it doesn't have 30 frames per second, it doesn't have 60 frames per second, actually it has 50 frames per second and 25 frames per second. Therefore, for this reason, I uh, match the video frame rate to 25 frames per second and I think I will upload on YouTube to 50 frames per second because I'm shooting with this camera on 50. But now let's talk a little bit about the upsides of this camera. Even if it's this old, it still has some upsides. First thing first, it has 30 times optical zoom and 60 times clear image zoom. The second thing, it actually has macro capabilities and what I love about this camera is that compared to a DSLR, a phone macro or anything you can find in 2022 and beyond, you don't actually have to get very close to the subject to be able to macro. And I'm gonna give you some examples. Uh, there's about two meters out of me, some flowers, and I'm just gonna zoom in. Wait, I forgot to press record. Let me try again. Okay, let's not forget that I'm actually shooting handheld and there's a little bit of wind as well. So shooting handheld, you don't have so much stability. Therefore, at uh, this time I didn't have any tripod with me, but if I had some tripod with me, the footage will look much, much better. At least the macro footage. Is this camera good for vlogging? Well, just look at this. What do you think? What's the main thing this camera has and other cameras doesn't have? It's actually a projector built in. This is another thing I actually like about this camera. It actually has a strap around which it has the USB straight in so you don't need any additional USB cameras when, whenever you charge the device or just for transferring data and it's actually very comfy because the fingers go straight into the buttons for record, zoom, photo and it has a very nice grip. I like it. That's one of the upsides of course. But now 
Let me get back home and I will show you the projector, how it looks like, and some footages. The built-in projector is nothing as compared with a big projector which used for watching movies, connect to computer or something like that. It's actually very small and it has a quite low luminosity, but uh, now it's still uh, daytime and the image looks quite surprisingly clear, surprisingly bright. But of course, uh, farther you have from the wall, the projector, bigger the screen and less luminosity the projector have. As an instance here, I, I'm a couple of meters, like two meters and a half away. And the screen, the projector screen is quite large, but the luminosity is quite dimmed. And here, it being closed it's much much brighter of course this is the same thing is with every projector but you have to scale the um, light switch so you see compared to a light switch how it looks like if you are quite close and how bright it looks the projector on this specific distance now the question is at the end of the day is this the sony hdr pj410 a handycam or camcorder still worth in 2022 and be or beyond well i'm gonna be honest with you i'm giving you a straight answer no if you buy it as new i don't even know if you can find it as new anymore but i'd rather prefer you to buy something close to this present date so because of uh, the outdated technology but if you get your hand on uh, a cheap device on something cheaper that may work especially if you are focusing on macro filming which uh, this camera appears to be absolutely brilliant and of course with the projector all right thank you very much for watching i hope you're doing well and don't forget to subscribe if you find if you found this video useful thank you and hope to see you later